Hi, my name is Robert Mack. Today we'll be talking about, are you choosing a winner? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. So if you are a seller and you've hired an agent to market your home and sell your property, you know, is your agent going to work with you and the agents and uh, buyers who submit offers to choose a winner? Well, that's the million dollar question. Now I will start with a couple things. Number one, it is my opinion that marketing and selling a property should generally, generally result in two or more offers. Okay. Now you may think I'm crazy, but when you list your home too high and you only get one offer, you are at the mercy of that buyer. But if you price your home right and you get the word out and you expose it and you get a lot of people in there and the home shows great, you should get two or more offers, which then gives you some flexibility, some options to decide which buyer is the right fit. Maybe two or three or four different buyers are interested in your home. So when I say, are you choosing a winner? Are you choosing the right buyer when you've got options? Because it's not as easy as you think. So I'm going to talk about my process a little bit. And if you're working with us, you're covered, don't worry about it. But if you're not working with us, this might be something that you want to talk to your agent about just to make sure that everybody's on the same page. I will also say that 50% of the time I see transactions fall apart due to agent mismanagement. So my seller is looking for the best price and the best terms. I obviously want that for my client, but I'm also looking to work with a great agent, an experienced agent who knows how to manage their clients set the appropriate expectations so that the escrow process is smooth, hassle-free, and most importantly, closes on time, keyword closes. <clears throat> so my process when I get an offer or multiple offers is, number one, I'm looking to have a conversation with the buyer's agent. I wanna learn more about the buyer and why they're buying and why this home fits their needs. I wanna learn about motivation. Number two, I'd love an introductory letter from the agent or the buyer explaining why this home fits their needs. Okay. Now when I call, when I have a conversation with the agent, I'm going to dig as deep as I possibly can to learn as much about the buyer and the agent, because not only am I analyzing the buyer situation, I also want to know how it feels like to work with the agent. Is this somebody I think I can see myself working with for the next 45 days? Do they have the experience level that's going to, help their clients achieve the close of escrow. These are all things I'm thinking of. I also actually pull the, the sales activity of the agents that I'm considering working with to see have they sold homes in the past? How many homes have they sold in the past? If they've only sold one, I think it's important that my seller understand that we're working with an agent who's only sold one home. Not that it's gonna be the criteria that's gonna disqualify them, but it's nice to have that information on hand. I also want to know if the buyer is qualified for a loan, not just qualified, but pre-approved for a loan. I may even have a conversation with their lender. In fact, I probably will have a conversation with their lender. I also want to know if the buyer can afford the down payment that they put on their contract. If they're buying a million dollar property with 20% down, I want to see a bank statement showing $200,000 or more in that bank statement. And I'm looking for a complete offer and I'm looking for a clean presentation. That's how I judge, am I working with an agent that I want to work with? Is this buyer motivated? I take all that information. I sit down with my client. If I've got multiple offers, I'll take all that information and my client and I will look through each offer and determine which buyer we think is the winner. I hope you found value in today's message. If you did, please share it with friends or family. If you found this on social media, give me a thumbs up, comment or question. If you have any video ideas you want me to talk about in the future, send those my way. And if you're thinking about selling and you're curious to know what your home is worth, reach out. There's no cost. There's no obligation. I'm happy to help. Until then, happy selling.